Hello everyone, welcome to Uncommon Literature. I am Nadeem Khan. Today we are going to do If I Should Die and You Should Live by Emily Dickinson. The poem is again on the theme of death, which is Emily Dickinson's one of the most uh, ever written themes. So let us just begin by the poem now. In the poem, she talks about the death and how the death is not the end of the world rather she contrasts the death with the lives of the survivors who are still surviving the people who are still living on this world so let us begin the poem now she starts if i should die and you should live so the first line itself starts the contrast she is saying that if one person dies and the other lives so this is not the end of the world the other person or the living people will continue running the world as it has been running always let us move further what point she mentions in the two stanzas of this uh, poem she talks about the this like going on of the world in diff, two different manners first is the ways of the nature that the natural things are going in the similar way in which they ever have been in the second part she talks about the circle of life which is more human related in that we have the human aspect which is more uh, bustling which is full of commerce trade and these sorts of things so let us so moving ahead and time should gurgle on and morning should beam and noon should burn so by these points she wants to say that even if somebody dies there will be no change in the world time will continue going on and the morning beam will come again the next day and the noon the sun which is very hot in the noon the sun will continue to burn many things you can call it sunburn or burning the others stuff on the earth so moving ahead as it has unusual done sorry as it has usual done so by this she is highlighting the point that as the world has been usually going on the things will continue be in that manner if birds should build as early and bees as buzzling go so here she is also mentioning the same uh, idea of uh, the world keep continuing with its own uh, works for we but here we have birds like they will continue to build their nests and the bees will continue to buzz and one might depart at option from enterprise below and somebody can move forward with the with their enterprises with their business what are their businesses so let us just see in the next line it is sweet to know that stocks will stand when we with daisies lie wonderful imagery here try to understand it the first line says that it is sweet to know that it is i am happy to know that that the stocks stock stock market the stocks will stand the stocks will go up when we with daisies lie so when we lie meaning when we are dead and with daisies means daisies are the flowers which are put on the graves of some uh, somebody who is dear to us so basically the meaning is when we die we are happy to know that the stock will keep rising higher moving ahead that commerce will continue and again continuing the same idea that we are happy or i am happy that the commerce will continue commencing in the same manner it has been and trades as briskly fly and trade will also uh, run in the similar manner so the theme is one that which i explained in the beginning of the poem that 
नो मैटर इफ समबडी लिव्स द डेथ इज ए पार्ट ऑफ लाइफ एंड द वर्ल्ड शुड नॉट बी अफेक्टेड बाय समबडीज डेथ एंड विच इज़ द रियलिटी ऑफ द वर्ल्ड ऑल्सो द पीपल वो आर डियर टू अर्स हाउ एवर दे फील अ लिटिल सैड फॉर अ सर्टेन टाइम पीरियड आफ्टर दैट द लाइफ गोज ऑन सो दिस पोएम टॉक्स अबाउट द सेम आइडिया continuing the lines she says it makes the parting tranquil and keeps the soul serene meaning that the idea of knowing this fact that the world will continue it makes the parting tranquil tranquil means it makes us depart from this world peacefully tranquil means peacefully parting means to depart from some place here death and keeps the soul serene serene and tranquil are synonyms so you can understand that this fact of parting the world peacefully also brings peace to us or to the soul the last two lines continue that gentleman so sprightly conduct the pleasing scene by this she wants to say that we are happy or i am happy to know that after my death the gentleman meaning the people who are related to business they will sprightly means with their full spirit they will conduct the pleasing scene here pleasing scene means the scene which pleases them which is uh, their work or the work related to the world so the idea is one there is only one center point of this poem which i have explained two three times in the this video so i hope this must be clear by now so with this we have done this poem